Hello friends, this is the Jooms of the Jooms TV. Thank you for stopping by and you're welcome. I know some of you have some burning questions about how accommodation is in Ghana and all of that good stuff. Today, I have someone with me who is a Ghanaian, who is also a YouTuber, is into real estate and is into building consultation. So I would like you to meet him and he'll spill all the tea for us today and I hope you enjoy it and get informed, all right? So thank you and stay tuned. All right, guys, you're welcome back. And with me is, please kindly introduce yourself to us. My name is Kamadai. I'm very sure they've seen my face before, so. Okay. Please yeah. kindly follow, I'll leave his link, the link to his channel in the description. So please follow him, okay? So what do you do? I'm a content creator, basically. Um, okay. That's, I'm very sure what people who are watching or have seen me before okay. know me for, but I also do other things. Um, like? I'm into real estate and um, what I also do is I do architectural designs okay. and I build. So currently these are the things that I do. What, when you say you build, what do you mean by you build? I build for people like houses. Okay. Yeah, sometimes someone will come to you and say, the person will come and say, do a design for me. Okay. That's an architectural design. I will do that design and after the person will be asking whether they, uh, like they can get someone to build for them. Okay. And I, I'm in this industry and I know how it goes. I know everything about it. So okay. why not build for them? So that's how uh, it actually started with okay. me. How long have you been doing this? When it comes to the architectural designs, let's say more than 10 years. And at first we were doing it on the board with our hand. Okay. And it came Patient. into, exactly. <laughs> and it came to this computer thing and okay. I learned everything and now I'm doing it. So. Oh, you're also <laughs> into real estate, yeah? Uh, yes, exactly, yeah. So tell us, just, you know, at the top of your head, tell us the most expensive areas that you know of in Accra, the middle class and the relatively affordable ones, or should I say cheap? I don't know, cheap is relative, so I don't want to use the word cheap, but you yeah, get... affordable. The, oh, yes, from the highest, highest middle and the lowest. The lowest. I think um, when it comes to uh, expensive places in Ghana or in Accra, mm -hmm. Um, I think many people would have heard of um, cantonment. Yes, cantonment. Yeah, they've heard of cantonment. Cantonment is very expensive, all because of um, you can find ambassadors of many countries there. Okay. Like that's where they live mostly. Uh, um, East Legon too is one. We have Rich, and we have Trasaco. We have these all these places. They are very expensive. That one, someone can sell a house to you around these places, not less than two hundred thousand dollars or three hundred thousand dollars wow and the highest can be like two million dollars or 1.5 million dollars these places are very expensive so like when it comes to renting for instance mm -hmm. renting in in these areas they are also very expensive i must say i think recently um i was even looking for an apartment for someone okay she contacted me and i was trying to get some for her and mm -hmm. even the the list that i got Mm -hmm. at these areas this is legon and cantonment mm -hmm. and these areas a studio apartment was even costing around two thousand dollars a month oh okay <laughs> so you can at least guess how these places are uh. there are some areas too that um, you can get cheaper buildings to buy or rent and okay. um, some places in Accra for instance I can mention let's say Jowulu area when it comes to Jowulu Jowulu is kind of expensive but like a middle class thing I, I think so too. you see so <laughs> Jowulu for instance you can get let's say six, like six hundred dollars seven hundred dollars there about a month for let's say a studio apartment you can in a, a way studio apartment. A, a studio apartment maybe someone might not know but a studio okay. apartment um it's a big room like a hall but it's not a hall you have your bed you have a kitchen like a mini kitchen okay we usually call it kitchenette kitchen. like, and you have your bathroom and your okay. hall so you have like everything in that big space okay. and that is a studio apartment so places like jowulu which other place can you uh, think of? let me say adenta Adenta is also, That's you know, Madina. because, yeah, Madina Adenta area, because okay. those places too are very quiet. 
Okay. They have. They even have this Adenta housing there. Okay. It's a whole community that um, they built. They built from scratch. Okay. So you can see these um, story buildings there. Plenty. They are there. I, I will not say Adenta. The, like the whole of Adenta is in the middle class. Some places are. Some places too are not. Okay. Yes. When it comes to the cheap areas, dear. Mm -hmm. You know, cheap is relative. That's why I said. Okay. The, uh, the the most affordable. affordable. <laughs> Tema for London. Tema. <laughs> if if <laughs> people who have stayed in Tema will tell you Tema is expensive even more than Accra. I'm telling you. But there are places that are not um, expensive. Okay. But Tema in general, if someone is giving you the perspective of Tema, mm. when it comes to um, cost, Tema is expensive. I'm telling you. I'm not exaggerating. No. <laughs> Tema is expensive. Tema, okay. it is because Tema was built by Nkrumah and the way he, he built it like a city, he wanted to build because of the harbor ah. and the industries that we have over there. So okay. most of the people that live there are like, okay. most of these people are foreigners. They come from, like you find people from China, from, like from the UK, Europe and every, like any, anywhere in this world because yeah. we have companies around, mm. they come, they build their companies and they, they decide to leave there so the, these places to tema is expensive mm. in a way not all uh, so like everywhere we, in tema we can say tema is between the topmost and the middle and the middle like yeah like you left so it how about way. the more affordable ones uh, <laughs> the most affordable more. you can even get le uh, less than a hundred dollars for a two bedroom ah yeah you can like you can buy you know the thing is these ones that i, I mentioned at mm -hmm. first the east legon ones mm -hmm. For instance, most of them are finished. Uh, oh, most okay. of them are finished. That's one thing I forgot to tell. So when it's so expensive like that, it's furnished. It's furnished, yeah. Ah. Mostly, mostly. I'm not sure. You can get some uh, like ap apartments and buildings around these places, which are okay. are not finished. But most of these places, the expensive ones especially, are they finished. are finished. Uh -huh. I see. And that is the reason why they are expensive like that. So. Tell us, mm, which is better for someone who is coming to Ghana to mm -hmm. maybe relocate? Maybe the person is not even Ghanaian. Yeah. Do you suggest the person go ahead mm -hmm. and build mm -hmm. or to just buy a house or to <laughs> rent a house? Please tell us. T tell <laughs> us what, what we need to know. I'm curious as well. This is something that I would say okay. it's, it's common knowledge. Okay. We all should know this. When someone builds or buys something and the mm -hmm. person is selling that thing to you it is much more expensive than you buying it yourself from the actual source you understand so yes. building if you want to buy fine perhaps you want to move in and do something very fast so you don't have time for like you buying a house what actually helps is um you save time Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. save time mm -hmm. you save time it's one mm -hmm. but when you want to build mm -hmm. you can never save time because <laughs> there are procedures in building and you need to follow each and every procedure before you get your building done so when you want to buy the disadvantage of buying is they are too expensive but they, they save what time. time and if you want to build Another advantage is you can build to your taste. True, true. Um, like when you want to buy, like mm -hmm. for instance, the person sat down, designed a particular thing As that he, he feels yeah. it's okay. Yeah. And they did what? They built it. So mm -hmm. you going in to buy, maybe even the area you don't even like it, but because you need it very fast, so mm -hmm. you need to. So these are the advantages and the disadvantages that I can give you. Okay. Yeah. I noticed you didn't even mention rent at all. Uh, <laughs> no, renting, eh? at least we've sp like spoken about renting. You renting a house to, I would say, in a way, it is expensive because definitely the person is um, renting these things out or, mm -hmm. these, or these properties out mm -hmm. to make profit. 
True. Yes. True. So, so when you rent, you are giving the person more money. <laughs> yeah. So the, the, like the person is basically doing business with um, the property that he, like he or she has built. You are into building um, consultation, yeah. right? So how much do you think it would roughly cost a person if the person wants to build maybe a two-bedroom mm -hmm. apartment or a three-bedroom apartment mm -hmm. in, in Accra? for mm -hmm. instance or you you're from the central region eh? yes i'm from ah. the central region so okay let's do that from if you want to build in central region versus if you want to build in accra so let's let's know the differences that i can give you in these places the central region and, the, and greater accra is um the labor cost in accra is much more expensive okay comparing it to the central region for instance because Accra is Accra, is the capital. Mm. Lots of people. So even nowadays, most people building in Accra, mm -hmm. they bring labor from the Volta region. Some Kumasi. of them, exactly. Even Kumasi. Kumasi people mostly, they bring um, uh, labor from central region and these places and the Volta region. I see. Mostly. I see. When you go to the construction sites in Kumasi, mostly the people that are working there, are not from Kumasi and Accra to similar thing when you go to East Legon right now and you like you are walking through their neighborhoods and just look at the people who are building and just try talking to them most of them don't even know how to speak tree they are from Volta because cheap labor like because of cheap labor these people this um, uh, like builders bring these people in they find a place for them to sleep mm -hmm. then they work for like the number of weeks that they are supposed to work they just work so like how much can it cost in Accra, for instance, uh, to build, mm, let's say, a three-bedroom flat? It depends on the design. Let's just say Or a basic sometimes design. a basic design. And suits, maybe and each, suit, of, them, each yes, of them. And suits, each of them, and suits. Their and their toilet mm. and bath and suits, one kitchen and that's it. Small compound. Uh-huh, something like that. Something like that. Mm. Okay. Um, in Ghana cities, finished everything. 200,000 can build 200,000 Ghana, Ghana cities. cities so you're saying plus the furnishing and everything not the furnishing, furnishing minus just furnishing the building. just the building and the um the, the electric house the interior everything the painting everything excluding furnishing furnishing is no part okay so with furnishing let's just say give or take like 300 400 yes let's say something like that because um Nowadays, people like their kitchens, especially to be, to look in a particular way. Mm -hmm, true, true. Um, the hall is just a hall, so definitely, it's just the what actually makes the hall different is the uh, POP ceiling or mm -hmm. the plasterboard that they use, mm. and perhaps um, the tiles that they will use for the floor. Most of the costs will go to the kitchen and the washrooms because. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the bedrooms, it's wardrobe, bed, Basically. mattress, mm -hmm. hall, it's your sofa, mm -hmm. it's your sofa and what again, um, your it. center table and like yeah, that's it, it's just basic, table. exactly. Mm -hmm. So basic stuff. Of course, washrooms nowadays, someone might want to use um, a bathtub, mm -hmm. especially these current ones that, new new ones that they have. Mm -hmm. These ones are expensive. Um, like when it comes to the WC bowl, Mm. We have new ones, we have old types. Someone might decide to use the new ones. So these these things are, are the things that can make the furnishing more expensive. But mm. I think 200,000, let's say 250,000, 70,000 roughly. On an average, you think housing in Accra is expensive or it is just basic or it is manageable, you know generally uh, on an average not depending on one area no 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 generally do you think housing is affordable in accra for what you can get mm -hmm. in accra mm -hmm. you might be closer to a mall because there are so many malls around okay some international schools mm -hmm. some good hospitals mm -hmm. and all that i think it's quite okay when you you want to build in accra Mm -hmm. I prefer building because at the end you are going to be satisfied with what you actually want. Mm -hmm. But when you decide to buy a house, mm -hmm. if you want to buy a house, fine. I don't have a problem <laughs> with that. 
but even sometimes when these people when they build the houses you don't even know the kind of materials or the type of materials they used in building yeah, true. so within a very short time it can start deteriorating or something mm -hmm. so what you have to do or i will advise is okay. build Build. For those of you wondering, this is the Krakow Estate um, in Community 25. So, if you are thinking of, oh, which beautiful place is this? This is the Krakow Estate. If you want me to do, he has a video on it already on his channel. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but if you maybe want me to talk to maybe their management or something, get this video to 1,000 likes. If he gets there, then we can talk from there. We can do business after that. <laughs> for now, <laughs> so thank you so 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 much any you're last welcome, words for people welcome, thinking of welcome. investing in real estate and all of that it's house, actually it, would you say? for me I, I i would say it's like um it's the new norm now because mm. when you come to ghana charlie the people who, <laughs> the buildings sprinkling up each and every day now lands you can't even find lands in this in central accra just the outskirts of Accra, mostly that's where you can find land. Yeah, so Accra is choked. It's choked. It's choked. And I will even prefer for any person who wants to come and invest. Aiko, Aiko. <laughs> like you investing in 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 Ghana in real estate, especially, I mm. think it's something that can fetch you a lot of money. Cool cash, okay. It can fetch you a lot of money. People build, they sell, and I can tell you some people make from 40% to 70% profit. Wow. Yeah, someone can use, let's say, this 200,000 that I said, mm -hmm. I mentioned, to build a house. But after building the house, and if they want to sell it, they can sell it, let's say, 300,000 or even th like 300 and something thousand Ghana cities. Wow. So, um, yes, that's the kind of profit that you can make in, mm. in Ghana or in Accra, yeah. Wow, this was so insightful. I hope my subscribers have been enlightened today. So, thank you so much, Kamadai. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. You're fancy, yeah? Yes. Like, I always like to ask where people are from, you know, just so you uh. know. <laughs> thank you so much. Please, like I said, I'll put his details in the description so please ensure to contact him if you need uh, accommodation <laughs> anything from from design to building to Everything. renting okay. to okay. anything yeah all right thank you so much guys and i'll see you in my next video bye